<laughs> I don't really know what I'll do with this. Arg. Literally arg. Hi guys, it's Archon Mono. How's everyone doing? Good, good, good. I hope. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Itchy eye. The excitement. The excitement's itching the eye. I came home from work yesterday and the Halloween Lush box was on my doorstep. Lies, it was in my room because my flatmate brought it in for me. Ah, it's time for another Lush kitchen subscription box video. Quick story time before I show you the stuff because I know you just want to see the stuff, right? When I signed up to the Lush box, it was a year ago. This box marks my 12th, it is my year, my year anniversary. And I signed up because I wanted to start with the Halloween box last year, but I was a couple of days late and I missed it. So my first box was November. And then I saw everyone posting about all the cool things that were in the Halloween box. I love Halloween. I love this time of year. I love autumn, September, October, November. Um, just all of the festivities that happen around this time of year. And Halloween is really special to me. It's just a special time of year. I love it. So I've been waiting kind of a year for this box and I'm really, really excited. It is a clanger. I don't think I've ever used that word before. It's such a good box. So let me show you what's in it. I will say um, when the vote comes around each month for what's going to be in the next box, you get an idea of what the theme is going to be. And this Halloween's theme is Lush's nod to Pirates of the Caribbean and you know just Lush's very clever punny little ways of playing on words with things but yeah it's basically ghosty pirate themed and ah it's teal this is the box I love it when the box is actually themed itself it's got a skull hello it says on the front here adventure I won't do it because it's got my oh it hasn't got my address oh it's got my postcode though <laughs> it says adventure awaits and then it says in green underneath beware contents may come alive when I saw this on my bed first of all the teal purple is my favorite color but teal is my second favorite color together we're in heaven yeah it's got this kraken type thing and I'll show you the inside excuse the the rustling and the crunching ah oh, look there's nothing in it because I'm just about to show you the products, right? But that's what it says. Get cracking. There's things falling all over the floor. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, the, the tentacles extend inside. Yeah, really happy about this one. So let me tell you what's inside. Uh, I'm not going to do my least favourite to favourite like I normally do. I'm going to do the things that are going to get my hands dirty at the end. So this box had two brand new exclusive products a bit of swag and two uh, three voted for items so let's begin so as always the first thing in the box is the little card they send I keep these if I think it's pretty and I actually put them on the side of my perfume cabinet here and I'm kind of collecting them look at this artwork it's super cool it's the Kraken trying to kill innocent people don't we just love a little bit of death but yeah, it says here, behold, fresh treasures take off on a wild journey. While most are in search of diamonds and gold, we've looked far and wide for high quality ingredients that help people, animals and the planet. These are our, these are our gems. Distilled from plants from around the world, set sail on your own adventure with the finest ethically sourced essential oils. We all know Lush are mainly about vegan or at least vegetarian, vegan, ethically sourced products. Part of the reason we love them, right? Oh, it fills me with joy. Anyway, first product. So the first thing was a bit of swag. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but it's a knot wrap, complete with a little padlock <laughs> tag thing. And this one's a treasure map. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole, whole thing. Let me just get it the right way up. It looks like this. Oh, this would be a nice background for the video. Snapshot. Didn't know that was gonna happen. So yeah, it's a knot wrap. Lush use them to wrap products. I've seen people wear them as scarves. I've seen them wear them as hankies, you know, neckerchief type things. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's a, tra it's a map and it's got significant places to Lush. It's got Paul, it's got 29 High Street, the shop. It's got Brown Sea Island. It's got Holton Heath, Upton. 
stuff. It's got places on it. Anyway, it's a, it's very silky and I like it. Mm -hmm. So the first actual product in here is a potted item. It's called Scrub 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 Body Scrub. And it says, how many scrubs could a scrub scrub a scrub if a scrubber could scrub a dub scrub? Dun, dun. <laughs> and this one is, it to me it smells, it's really, really scrubby. I know that sounds weird, but some of Lush's scrubs are more sugar based, so they melt a bit quicker, or they're ground almondy, or you know, they just have different textures of scrub. This one's a real scrubby scrub one, and it looks like this. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And someone told me, and I, I learned this recently, I was this week, I was yesterday years old, when I found out, I worked at Lush 20 years ago, that if you peel with these little, who it's made by, if you peel these little labels back, they have a little secret little thing. And this one says, I'm spexy and I know it. <laughs> That's because it's made by a guy called Steven, this dude here. I wonder why he got his own thing. Normally it relates to the product. Anyway, yay for you, Stephen. And this is dark black color. It smells like black currants. It's berry, it's like a, it's like a blackberry darkness. And I'm not gonna put it on my skin because I'm gonna get really messy. But I love a Lush body scrub. I'm currently using the Barbie one, which tomorrow it's the 1st of October. I will be switching out that one and using this one. So ingredients, it, well anyway, Ingredients, I'll read a couple of them. A lot of these YouTubers about your Lush read the ingredients, just so you can see. So it says, wow, the lighting in here is not good. Fine sea salt, uh, blackberry press. I'm old guys, forgive me, I've got my phone now. So it says, fine sea salt, blackberry puree. <laughs> it didn't say press at all, I just made that up. I just made it up. Uh, activated charcoal, organic blackcurrant powder, Blackcurrant Absolute, Rosemary, Pine Oil, and some other stuff. But those are the natural ingredients anyway. And yeah, it's a very coarse blackberry scrub, which I think is gonna be really, really good for now. It's autumn, getting a little bit colder. <laughs> I say that, it's not that cold. But yeah, really liked this one. Love a Lush body scrub. And I like that the packaging in this one is tailored to the box. I like that it's kind of like stormy skies. Just the theming of Lush is what gets me. I'm a sucker for a theme. I really am. And yeah, I'll enjoy this one. <sighs> next thing. The next one's a little bit of a confusing one for me, but I did vote for it. This was something, this scrub, scrub, scrub was actually in the vote. So it was one of the winning products. The next thing is something else that won. And it is a multi-purpose cream called Smuggler's Soul. Smuggler soul, me hearties, yeah. Uh, and this one, I personally <clears throat> will use as a face cream. I just ran out of face cream, perfect timing. And I used this last night. A little goes a really long way. It says here, kitchen exclusive, smooth all over the face, body, hands, or hair. It's so versatile. You can use it while shaving too. I'm not sure, let's look at this. I'm not sure why you would put a moisturizer on your hair. Uh, I don't know. It smells kind of unusual. It's sandalwood mainly, but it kind of smells a little bit medicinal to me. It's really nice on the skin though. I used it as a night cream last night. People, why, why would you put moisturizer in your hair? Is it like a hair mask? I don't know. Anyway, hmm. This is, it's squidging out everywhere. There's so, it's so full and it's kind of runny. It's kind of going everywhere. But yeah, I really like it. It's got a really silky texture. It's kind of mildly scented. It's kind of woody, which is good because I'm going to use it as a face cream. I don't want something super strong scented on my face. But yeah, go under the cover of Evocative Soothing Sandalwood. That's what it says. And again, with that nice packaging. Oh, oh, look. We have an escapee. This one was made by Ben. Hi Ben, shout out to Ben. I'm waiting for my favorite one to see if he comes up. This one says, bear your soul. Okay, don't tell me what to do. So ingredients, lemon balm infusion. Oh my gosh, almond oil, argan oil, organic jojoba oil, 
virgin coconut oil, sandalwood oil, lemongrass oil, rosewood oil, vetiver oil, tajitis oil, camellia oil, fresh cucumber, fresh watercress. Okay, the next item, when I pulled this one out of the box, I squealed. Oh, this is a never before seen shower gel by Lush. It is one of the exclusive made for the box ones and it is called Redbeard. And it's a big one. We love a big one, don't we? This one's really, really unusual. As far as Lush shower gels go, they're really good at making invigorating, pretty, fun, sweet, kind of gourmand, cute ones. This one's not gonna be for everyone. This is red and glittery. Let me just focus it. It's got so much shimmer in it. I love that. Oh, I love getting a big Lush, Lush shower gel from Lush in the boxes. They seem to kind of alternate. You might have month to month, you might have maybe two small ones and then a big one. We've had quite a few larger shower gels. That's why it's really impressive that there are two other potted items in this box and there's two more things to go as well so anyway as i was saying redbeard famous pirate or whatever they, whatever they say <laughs> this has such an unusual smell i don't know about this I, I i don't care i'm still going to use it anyway i make a point of using up whatever's in my box within that month it's kind of like a mini challenge to myself and to not be wasteful and just stockpile things and especially with lush they're supposed to be used fresh that's the entire point. This is so bizarre smelling. So it says here, kitchen exclusive, Ahoy me hearties. Get ye skin aglow with the spicy, smoky blend of carrot seed oil and fragrant fenugreek. So fenugreek, also known as meki, if you're an Indian person, I love Indian everything, things, food, country, all of it. It's a very pungent leaf that's used in curries. Uh, and I think maybe tea, uh, all sorts of things really. It's got so many healing properties, but the smell is really pungent. It's, it's dark, kind of weirdly earthy. It's really dense, thick, kind of earthy smell, but not anywhere in the world of like a patchouli or an oak moss. It's just, I wonder how this is gonna work when it's in the shower with steam and kind of just getting into the air and, because you know, lush, lush shower gels are a little bit like an aromatherapy experience as well. They're so highly fragranced. But yeah, I've never smelled anything like this before, especially not from Lush. So really excited to use this red beard. I'm gonna feel like a pirate and uh, yeah, see what happens. Should we peel off the thing as well? Should we see what this one says? Oh, this was made by Ben as well. Ben was busy this box. Still not my favorite though, sorry Ben. I'm waiting for my favorite, but mm, we'll see. This one says, yo ho ho. Okay. So red beard shower gel. So the last two things are the naked things. Both of them are bath bombs. One is a, one made for the box and one is a returning one. I'll show you now. The ingredients, I keep forgetting. I don't usually do the ingredients, that's why. So this one has uh, water, obviously. Fair trade aloe vera gel. Extra fine salt. A lot of these things have salt in them, I guess. It's a sea pirate themed thing. Uh, agave syrup, carrot seed oil, fenugreek absolute. And that's what I smell more than carrot seeds. Then it has uh, Sicilian red mandarin. And that's it. There's lots of other things too, but these are the main things. But yeah, pretty cool. So the second to last thing is a bath bomb and it's called, get this one, Pirates of the Carrageenan. <laughs> Gosh. Lush never failed to impress me with their funniness. It's a little treasure box and it is full of gold glitter, which is why I've done this last. And this is a returning bath bomb. I think it's been out at Halloween before. And you know, Pirates of the Carrageenan. <laughs> Just funny. Carrageenan, I have discovered, is a type of red seaweed, which has many beneficial properties for the skin. Lush use it in a lot of their products. I think it also gives their shower jellies its jelliness. <laughs> that was really good English. Well done, Tom. But I will say the smell of this, it smells like Tramp to me. If, you, if you're a Lush fan and you know a very retro shower gel called Tramp, it's an oak moss patchouli, earthy, dark, kind of autumnal, foresty type smell. 
And I will say, there's there's a YouTuber that I watch and I really want to mention her channel. I don't even know if she knows that I watch her, but her name's Sarah. Sarah Jameson, if you're watching this, I binge watch your videos. <laughs> she is such a great Lushy YouTuber. I guess if you're a Lushy and you're watching this, you might know her already. Sarah, I recently had 11 days off. I went to Malta, I went on holiday. I spent three of the days after I came back watching your videos alone. Yes. Thank you for your knowledge. Thank you for the effort you put into your videos. Everyone go and watch her. If you are a Lushy person, I'll tag her channel below. She's the one that taught me about carrageenan. I know lots about perfumery ingredients. I don't know much about skincare ingredients. I knew some stuff, but I didn't know what carrageenan was. Anyway, it says here, uh, how to use. What are you waiting for? Toss it into the tub. I wanna know what's in here. This is a treasure box and Lush are known for putting little surprisey type things in their bath bombs. It might not be anything. I'm still excited to use it though. And I will use this one when it gets a little bit cooler. I was a bit coconutty as well, but yeah, look, it's a little pirate treasure chest. So cute. It says here that it's got kombu powder. Don't know what that is. Pettigrain, pimento berry oil, sandalwood oil, ginger oil, celery seed oil, cream of tartar, water. And as Sarah says, I'm gonna honor her in this, in her accent, synthetic fluorogurogurogite, which is the glitter on top, which is a safe glitter, which does not harm the oceans. Well done, Lush. Okay, last product. Another thing that's gonna make me glittery. This is a never before seen bath bomb and it's called Pumpkin Patch. Arr. Look at this, it's so funny. It's, so, it's just funny. <laughs> Tying in with Halloween and Pirates. Lush, once again, have been very clever. This smells so good. This is super sweet. And um, I will say, I recently got the seasonal face mask from Lush. It's a fresh one. It's called Mr. Pumpkin Face. And I've realized that this bath bomb smells very much like that face mask. It smells like a very sweet, vanilla-y, custardy, orange type smell. That's what I, it smells like. I put it on my face last night, actually, that face mask. And this, this is what it smells like. But look, it's glittery and gold and he's like very angry and stuff. He's going to eat you eat you anyway it's called uh pumpkin patch love and it says pop this pumpkin in a warm bath for a fragrant soak and it has juniper berry oil organic pumpkin seed oil it's really hard for th from this list cream of tartar grapefruit oil as well and yeah that's it in terms of the the fragrance and the oils yeah I think I'll use this one first because it's, it's really, really cute. And I want to see if he's got anything inside, like he explodes with like glitter or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that was my little overview of the October Lush Halloween kitchen box thing. This subscription gives me so much joy. These videos give me so much joy. I hope they give you some joy too. Um, November's box, I am very, very excited about. So for the first time ever, just to give you a quick overview, for the first time ever, there is no vote. The two main creators of Lush products are conjuring up five, four or five, maybe six, we're hoping, brand new products that have never been seen anywhere. And the subscribers of the box will get to try them first and then vote afterwards for which ones they want to see permanent in the shops. Such a cool concept. I have not seen, they sent an email out recently saying this is what's going to be in the box, delete, deleted it. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. Really excited. For now, I hope you guys are okay. I'm out from trying to make the world smell better one video at a time and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye. Arrgh.